Tariq ibn Ziyad was a Muslim commander who led the Islamic Umayyad conquest of Visigothic Hispania in 711-718 AD. Under the orders of the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid I he led a large army from the north coast of Morocco, consolidating his troops at a large hill now known as Gibraltar. The name Gibraltar is the Spanish derivation of the Arabic name Jabal Ariq, meaning Mountain of Tariq, which is named after him. Origin Medieval historians give little or no information about Tariq's origins or nationality. Ibn Abd al-Hakam, Ibn al-Atir, al-Tabari and Ibn Khaldun do not say anything on the subject and have been followed in this by modern works such as the Encyclopedia of Islam and Cambridge History of Islam. There are three different accounts given by a few Arabic histories which all seem to date from between 400 and 500 years after Tariq's time. These are that. He was a Persian from Hamadan. He was an Arab member or freedman of the Sadif clan of the Kindar. He was a Berber from North Africa. Even here there are several different versions, and modern workers who accept a Berber origin tend to settle on one version or another without giving any reason for so doing. The Berber tribes associated with these ancestries were, in Tariq's time, all resident in Tripolitania or, and in the Maghreb. The earliest reference seems to be the 12th century geographer Al-Idrizi, who referred to him as Tariq bin Abd Allah bin Wanamu al-Zanati, without the usual bin Ziyad. The 14th century historian Ibn Idari gives two versions of Tariq's ancestry. He is referred to as Tariq bin Ziyad bin Abd, Allah bin Warfu bin Warfajim bin Nobargazan bin Walhas bin Yachufat bin Nafsur and also as Tariq bin Ziyad bin Abd, Allah bin Rafu bin Warfajim bin Yanzgazan bin Walhas bin Yachufat bin Nafsur. Most historians, Arab and Spanish, seem to agree that he was a slave of the Emir of Ifriqiya, Musa bin Nasser who gave him his freedom and appointed him a general in his army. But his descendants centuries later denied he had ever been Musa's slave. The earliest reference to him seems to be in the Mozarab Chronicle, written in Latin in 754, which although written within living memory of the conquest of Spain, refers to him erroneously as Tariq Abuzara. Tariq's name is often associated with that of a young slave girl, a Makam who is said to have crossed to Spain with him, but the nature of their relationship is left obscure. History Musa bin Nasser appointed Tariq governor of Tangiers after its conquest in 710-711, but an unconquered Visigothic outpost remained nearby at Ceuta, a stronghold commanded by a nobleman named Julian. After Roderick came to power in Spain, Julian had, as was the custom, sent his daughter to the court of the Visigothic king to receive an education. It is said that Roderick raped her, and that Julian was so incensed he resolved to have the Muslims bring down the Visigothic kingdom. Accordingly he entered into a treaty with Tariq to secretly convey the Muslim army across the Straits of Gibraltar, as he owned a number of merchant ships and had his own forts on the Spanish main land. About April 29, 711, the army of Tariq, composed of recent converts to Islam, was landed at Gibraltar by Julian. Tariq's army contained about 7,000 Berber horsemen, and Musa is said to have sent an additional 5.000 reinforcements after the conquest. Roderick, to meet the threat of Berbers, he assembled an army said to number 100,000. Most of the army was commanded by, and loyal to, the sons of Witiza, whom Roderick had brutally deposed. Tariq won a decisive victory when Roderick was defeated and killed on July 19 at the Battle of Wadalit. On the advice of Julian, Tariq split his army into various divisions which went on to capture Cordoba, Granada and other places, while he remained at the head of the division which captured Toledo and Guadalajara. Tariq was de facto governor of Hispania until the arrival of Musa a year later. Both Tariq and Musa were simultaneously ordered back to Damascus by the Umayyad Caliph al-Walid I in 714, where they spent the rest of their lives. 
In the many Arabic histories written about the conquest of southern Spain, there is a definite division of opinion regarding the relationship between Tariq and Musa bin Nusser. Some relate episodes of anger and envy on the part of Musa, that to his freedmen had conquered an entire country. Others do not mention, or play down, any such bad blood. On the other hand, another early historian al-Baladuri merely states that Musa wrote Tariq a severe letter, and that the two were later reconciled. Tariq's Sermon The early modern historian al-Makari, in his The Breath of Perfume, places the following long sermon to the troops in Tariq's mouth before Wadalit. O oh my warriors, with the wood you flee, behind you is the sea, before you, the enemy. You have left now only the hope of your courage and your constancy. Remember that in this country you are more unfortunate than the orphan seated at the table of the avaricious master. Your enemy is before you, protected by an innumerable army. He has men in abundance, but though, as your only aid, have your own swords, and, as your only chance for life, such chances you can snatch from the hands of your enemy. If the absolute want to which you are reduced is prolonged ever so little, if you delay to seize immediate success, your good fortune will vanish, and your enemies, whom your very presence has filled with fear, will take courage. Put far from you the disgrace from which you flee in dreams, and attack this monarch who has left his strongly fortified city to meet you. Here is a splendid opportunity to defeat him, if you will consent to expose yourselves free to death. Do not believe that I desire to incite you to face dangers which I shall refuse to share with you. In the attack I myself will be in the fore, where the chance of life is always least. Remember that if you suffer a few moments in patience, you will afterward enjoy supreme delight. Do not imagine that your fate can be separated from mine, and rest assured that if you fall, I shall perish with you, or avenge you. You have heard that in this country there are a large number of ravishingly beautiful Greek maidens. The graceful forms are draped in sumptuous gowns on which gleam pearls, coral, and purest gold, and they live in the palaces of royal kings. The commander of true believers, Al-Walid, son of Abdumlaik has chosen you for this attack from among all his Arab warriors, and he promises that you shall become in his comrades and shall hold the rank of kings. In this country, such is his confidence in your intrepidity. The one fruit which he desires to obtain from your bravery is that the word of God shall be exalted in this country and that the true religion shall be established here. The spoils will belong to yourselves. Remember that I place myself in the front of this glorious charge which I exhort you to make. At the moment when the two armies meet hand to hand, you will see me, never doubt it, seeking out this Roderick, tyrant of his people, challenging him to combat, if God is willing. If I perish after this, I will have had at least the satisfaction of delivering you, and you will easily find among you an experienced hero, to whom you can confidently give the task of directing you. But should I fall before I reach a Roderick, redouble your ardor, force yourselves to the attack and achieve the conquest of this country, in depriving him of life. With him dead, his soldiers will no longer defy you, literature. Roger Collins the Arab Conquest of Spain, 710-797, revised reprint published in 1994, reprinted 1995-1998. Pascal de Gangos y Arce, The History of the Mohammedan Dynasties in Spain, Volume 1, 1840. English translation of al makari Al-Baladuri, Kitab Futter al-Budan, English translation by Philip Hitti in The Origins of the Islamic State, Anon, Akbar Majmua Fifath al-Andalus wa dhik al iha Arabic text edited with Spanish translation, E. Le Fuenta y Alcantara, Ajbar Makmua, Kolekian de Robres Arabigas de Historia y Geografia, Volume 1, Madrid, 1867, Anon, Mozarab Chronicle, Ibn Abdul Hakam, Kitab Futter Misrwa al Mughrib Wa al Andalus. 
critical Arabic edition of the whole work published by Tory, Yale University Press, 1932. Spanish translation by Elizo Vidal Beltran of the North African and Spanish parts of Tory's Arabic text. Conquista de Africa del Norte y de España, Textos Medievalis No. 17, Valencia, 1966. This is to be preferred to the obsolete 19th century English translation at Medieval Sourcebook, The Islamic Conquest of Spain. Enrique Gonzalez Craviato, Tara, El Conquistador de Tarifa, Algeranda, No. 30. Muhammad al Idrisi, Kitab Nuzat al Mushtaq, Critical Edition of the Arabic Text, Opus Geographicum, Scythe, Liber Adiorum Delectation M. Kiteras Peregre Studiant, Instituto Universitario Oriental, Naples, French Translation, Joe Burt, A. M. E. Acute D. E. Acute E. Trans, and Dead. Géographie d'Edrisi traduite de l'Arabienne Française de Presse de Manuscrits de la Bibliothèque du Waré accompagné de Notes. Paris, L'Imprimerie Royal, Ibn Tagrabirdi, New Jum al Zahira Fima Luc Misrwa al Kahira. Partial French translation by E. Fanyan, N. Nojumi Z. Zahira. Extraits relatif so mugrib, requail des notices a memoirs de la Societe Archeologique du département de Constantine, 40, 1907, 269-382. Ibn Kalakan, Wafir Ale Yanwar and Bar ABNA Arizona's A Man. English translation by M. Dislane, Ibn Khalikan's Biographical Dictionary, Oriental Translation Fund of Great Britain and Ireland, 1843, Ibn Idari, Kitab al Bayan al Mughrib fi Akbar Muluk al Andalus wa al Mughrib, Arabic text ed. G.S. Colin and E. Elia Cute vi Provençal, Histoire de l'Afrique du Nord et de la Espagne intitulé Kitab al Bayan al Mughrib, 1948. Ivan Van Sertima, Golden Age of the Moor, retrieved August 23, 2012.